Okay, cute. Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. Okay, so today I wanted to tell you a little bit about my experience at the Academy Museum of Motion Pictures where I actually got a chance to meet Ruth Carter for her book signing um, that she recently had for her book. And then I also want to kind of um, show you the haul of the different things that I received at the Academy Museum of Motion Pictures. Now, I did not go to an actual exhibit Right now, they do have a really great exhibit that I do want to go see. This is not my first time going to the museum, but this is my first time going for a book signing. So I did get a chance to meet Miss Ruth Carter, and I will insert a picture here. I wish I would have got video um, footage of more things, um, but I just also was trying to be respectful. And the lady that was... Um, like ushering she was kind enough to like take all of our pictures and stuff like that it was just super nice but i got a chance to meet ruth carter and she was like she was like a breath of fresh air she's so like witty like she's fun she's a jokester and um she's just like lightning in the bottle she was just like a, a breath of fresh air like i said um so this is her book the art of ruth carter let me go back and this is her hair and it basically goes through her entire career um, and like i said i went to the book signing so she was able to sign my book and yo when she signed this like we had a little we had a brief conversation i was not trying to hold up a lot of time like i was <laughs> I was like we would we talked for a little bit um and then like I got my picture taken I was like okay thank you and I walked up and the lady was like wait you forgot your phone and don't you want a picture like I gave my pic my phone to the lady and like I completely forgot and I was like oh my god she's like come get your picture I'm like oh my god yes you're right um so we took a picture or whatever it was like I was just trying to not to hold up the line but yeah we talked for a little bit and it was it was so cute but yeah this is the book and she put to Tiffany keep going and it just was specific to what we were talking about because I was like let her know um just a little bit about myself and the things that i was trying to do and i asked her for some advice and she was just like girl just keep going keep doing this this and this and like she was just like everything she was just saying is just like i receive it like like i receive it um so just to show you this is a little bit of what you'll see inside this is like her earlier her earlier days she went to Hampton University um, and she kind of talked about how like it was like destined for her to work in theater but also to do costume design because she wanted to be an actor but for whatever reason it just didn't go through and then her professor was like I have a position in costume design. Just do the, you know how to sew. Let's, I'm going to put you over here. And it just worked out. Like, it worked out. She knew how to sew. She started doing that. And it just, it really, it, it worked out for her. Um, but these are some pictures. This is from school days. Um, also, let me see. Um, has some interesting she talked about Chad with Bozeman. And then just like her journey overall. Yeah. We the Queen Mother. Coming to America, Queen Mother, like just different. Yeah, this was all coming to America, the second one. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna insert a few pictures and whatever video that I was able to 
collect from the the book signing but yeah like that was a really great experience and just she was just even telling me she was like girl i've been doing this for a long time a long time it does not happen overnight so you have to keep going keep at it or whatever and i was just like you're right <laughs> you're right um but yeah i highly recommend y'all it's a lot of good just nuggets inside of here just to see her journey because a lot of people see like how she won she's the first i believe black costume designer to win academy award in that category um she and people see that and they just think like oh yeah she did black panther and like no like she been out she has basically every spike lee's early projects like she was his costume designer for all of those projects so everything from mo better blues which i love mo better blues to like school days uh do the right thing um she's gotta have it like all of that like she she's been his costume designer so yeah i I believe she worked on She's Gotta Have It, if I'm not mistaken. I know she worked on Malcolm X. And yeah, so I, 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 I highly recommend picking up The Art of Ruth Carter. It's a great, great book. Um, but I also want to show you all of the things that I also got from the museum store. So I did do some shopping. So the first thing I got was this tote bag. Black is Beautiful, because this is a part of the regeneration of Black, I believe. Regeneration of Black Cinema, which is an exhibit that's co currently going on. And I believe it's ending soon. Um, I got to double check to see exactly what date. I'll try to insert it on the screen if I find out. But I got that tote, which was really cute. I also got this book which is the same thing um black cinema is the regeneration um as you can see um it just goes through different cinematic eras oscar michelle is also in here i don't know if i can find it but i don't know if i exactly where to find it but just to kind of show you some things here let me see if i can find i'll just kind of do a little oh let me show you this oh they have like different posters oh paul roberson this is one of the films that's on my this to watch too on this i think it's the emperor yeah the emperor jones yeah that's something that i have actually on my list to watch um just a timeline of different things uh but yeah this oh yeah they have like black europe here and baker anyway not to cur like <laughs> go through this whole entire book but this was a book that i picked up that i really want to go through especially to like make me more familiar with black films that i have no like i have no idea that it exists and i want to watch those films so this is really good for that so i can kind of get an idea of where those films is and if i can purchase it or rent it or something and i could do that so next up I got, and you can see I already opened it, but I purchased Aretha Franklin's Amazing Grace album. So you can see here. I don't know if it got a little bent, but yeah. This is a great album. I purchased it on vinyl. It's a great album. This is the back. A really great gospel album. I think this was the highest was this the highest selling gross gospel album if i'm not mistaken but this album is really really good like aretha franklin and also i recommend i think hulu has the actual footage 
of them performing this with Aretha Franklin. It is so good, y'all. I highly recommend. I don't know if it's still on Hulu, but I know it was on Hulu. So this is good to turn on like Sunday morning when I'm like cooking or if you're having like a little brunch and you're having a little family Sunday get together, you could put this on during the day and then you know put your little other uh, turn up using it at night but this is yeah this is a great 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 album um so i got that i also let me just take out this stuff um this was just a little calendar that they had that i picked up uh, but yeah i got this uh paper doll this josephine baker paper doll which is really cute and i also have a um i have a paper doll of ruth carter it's actually at my desk at my office i'll insert a picture of it um in at my desk at my place of work but yeah this is let me see if you can see that i'm trying to not hit the glare okay so this is the paper doll there um so yeah i love stuff like this to like decorate your office and stuff um, and then last thing that I got, um, was these postcards. So these are the regeneration of black cinema postcards. And these are actually different movie posters, but they're in postcard form. So the blood of Jesus, these are all black, um, thumbs, Harlem is heaven, just stuff like that of one blood like some of these films that i I'm, I'm not even familiar with and i want to like try to see if i can find them to watch them um yeah but yeah that's the last thing that i got um other last thing was this was like the actual wristband for the event um which is cute but yeah that was everything i got from the academy museum store and then last thing this is not from the museum but this is something that i have purchased off of solange's site saint heron and she sells like tableware now tabletop wear and she has some glasses like drinking wear um, that she came out with and i was able to get my hands on two pieces um so i wanted to kind of show you that as well so if you guys are uh interested in purchasing it um you can see what it looks like um firsthand so first up this is the first glass i'm not sure what this one is called um but this is the first piece and i freaking love it now i do not get matching pieces i only got two pieces and then they're two different styles so as you can see very chic it's like it's playing with different shapes um just very dainty i just feel like a little cocktail or something like and i would love this on my table and people have different uh glasses like if i have a, like a little party i know it's like this is one glass but i would it would be cute like if you have like that kind of bohemian style mixed with elevated pieces like this would be so freaking cute so this is the first piece and it actually says i don't know if y'all can see that but it does say saint heron on the bottom here and let me see if you can see it there i don't know if you can see that but it it says it right here see here yeah it says it right there so that's the first piece i freaking love it um and then the next piece which i like i told you i got two different styles i did not want to get matching pieces um that's just I don't know, it's my choice. Um, but this is the next piece, and I freaking love this piece. But anyway, this is the glass. Uh, so you can see um, it has the black swirling bottom. And then you can kind of see they're in like the champagne glass there. It's just like so freaking cute. So just to kind of give you an idea. Um, 
this on oh, the table it's just like beautiful wooden table right now i have glass but like even that like the glass table but i'll put like a tablecloth or runner down and just like different uh tabletop wear like so good and these are good glasses y'all like when i first y'all fun fact about me um listen now or even since i graduated college like i don't care like i don't have an ego like when i first graduated college i had to get a job at like bed bath and behind because there was a recession nobody was really hiring and i got a job there and when i tell you bed bath and beyond taught us so much about great household wear like everything from tabletop like i know the best i know what to get when it comes to cutlery and the brands for like cookware and sheets don't get me started on sheets like you want to get your 500 thread count egyptian cotton like i know about all of that if you could get yourself a thousand thread count you you doing something because them sheets is not cheap um but i kind of in vacuums things like that like i really took that job and i know it was like a basic cashier job but i learned like what is the best products to get for your home um, that, that can last a long time from their job. And these are some really great glasses. So I do highly recommend. Again, this is from St. Heron. What it looked like came in a black. I highly, 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 highly recommend them. Like, if I had more, like, if I wasn't on a budget child, I would get the whole set. And they sold out fast, too. So, because the first time she posted, I wasn't even able to get anything. But the next time around, I was able to just sign up for the newsletter, child. I was able to snag those pieces. And, um, like I said, I just got two pieces. Um, I can't wait to see if she's going to have, like, actual, like, plates and stuff like that. Because that would be super cute. And, like, even a mix and match. It. But, yeah, that, yeah. I mean, St. Heron, like... I highly recommend great glassware, great tabletop wear. But yeah, that concludes my haul, my experience meeting Ruth Carter, which was amazing, um, and the St. Heron glass haul as well. Um, let me know if y'all have ever um, got a chance to meet Miss Ruth Carter or you purchased her book or what's your favorite um movie that she worked on um let me know down below um in the comments but yeah that concludes this video please comment like subscribe let me know let me know if you're gonna get some saint heron um pieces um i don't even know if they sold out but let me know if you're looking forward to it what pieces you want to get i'm just i'm intrigued let me know um, but yeah i'll catch you all on the next one all right Peace.